everyone welcome back to my channel so today is part five and the final part of my completed coloring book collection and all the completed pages that i've colored for so far in july 2021 and this is my huge folder i have kept with like nine different books i used to have like years ago but I know you used to keep the books together so I just used to have a stack of like paper so I put them all in one big huge folder as you guys can see it's huge so it's just got like a bit of everything in it it's got a bit of everything in this folder it's just all different kinds of books in here I have a complete page in here did that one in February, not February, May 2021. I don't know why that's not, oh yeah, because I'm done the back of it. But this is like my giant folder of literally everything. And if my book falls apart, I put it in here, everything which goes in this folder. And if you'd like to do a buddy colour with me, just DM me on Instagram or if you would like me to do a flip through of any of the books that I haven't already done a flip through on my channel, just comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I will definitely do that for you. Or if you'd like me to do a colour and chat in any of the books that I'm going to show you, comment that down below as well. The next thing I want to show you is my folder of completed pages. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit because that folder was a bit huge. So this is more of my smaller book, the smaller folder. As you guys can see, I haven't got done hardly as many as I haven't got. But this is my completed folder book. And I did this one, this little guy. I'm not taking them out the um, plastic wallets, guys, so sorry if you have glare. But this one here, the little one, um, I completed this in May 2021. I did this little guy here in March 2021. I did this one. And I think it was back in 2018 because I did not date any of the others on this book in this folder sorry guys these two I did in 2018 as well I'm just gonna show you I did all these in 2018 I did this one in 2019 and this one in 2019 both in April did this these two in November 2018, did this one in October 2018, probably did that one like before that, did these all in 2018, did these two as well, I love this one, it's good to just look back at my old work sometimes. I'm going to try and like be very quick with this video today guys because I have a lot to show you. I did this one in November 2018. Did this one also in November 2018. Probably did that one in 18. I don't know when though. So th this one I did in 2018 as well. This one I did in February 2019. It's going to be an upside down one. This one I did in February 2019. This one I did in February 2019.
I'm not going to keep flipping that because it's just going to really do my head in. So that one I did in 2019 in February. Did that one in 2019 in February. That one I did in February 2019. This one I did in January 2020. Did this one in January 2020. Did this one in November 2018. Did that one in November 2018. Did this one in November 2018. Did this one in November 2018. Also did this one in November 2018. Did this one in November 2018. Did that one in November 2018. Did this one in November 2018. Did this one in October 2018. So these are more my first ever colourings guys. Did this one in October 2018 and I did this one probably in like September 2018 because I didn't date them. <laughs> these are like draw carry on drawing in the picture but I just like the images so I just colour the images in. These are all in 2018 guys because that's when I started back my colour. I started again in January 2018. Did this one in April 2019. Did this one in April 2019. Did this one probably in 2018. I haven't dated it. In my early stages I never used to date them guys so I didn't really like can't remember when I actually did them. Well, it looks like I started dating them in September 2018. Because I did this one in September 2018. Did this one in November 2019. Did this one in November 2019. Did this one in February 2019. Did this one in February 2019. I also did this one in 2019 in February. Did this one in February 2019. Did this one in February 2019. Did this one in February 2019. And I did this one in 2019 in February. I did these two in February 2019. I did these two in February 2019. I think I had a little bit of a kick of like Christmas in February 2019, guys. Did these two. No, I did this one in February 2019. I did this one in January 2018. And I also did that one in January 2018. I think I did that one in January 2018 as well. Did this one here in the green background. I did this one in September 2018. Did this one in September 2018. Did this one in September 2018. I did this one in September 2018. Did this one in October 2018. Did this one in October 2018. Did this one in November 2018. I did this one in November 2018 and I did this one also in November 2018. I did this one in November 2018 and I did this one earlier than that. Can't remember because I haven't dated it. Did this one in 2020 so I must have done that one. No, I definitely did that one earlier. But this one I did in March 2020. Did this one in February 2019. I think this one was my very first ever picture I like kept. Because I remember all my other ones I used to do, I just never used to keep. But as you guys can see, they are absolutely terrible pencils. I have no idea what I've used there. But they're absolutely terrible. Did this one in February 2019. Did this one in February 2019. 
this one i can't remember when i did it with the glasses on i can't remember when i did that because i didn't date it never dated these two i'm happy i do actually date them now guys to be honest this one i did in september 2018 and i did this one in september 2018 did this one in I want to say November 2019. I used a terrible pen there. Did this one in October 2018. I did this one in December 2018. Did this one in December 2018. This one doesn't have a date on it. No, neither does that one. That one has September 2018. September 2018, that's a vibrant neon colour. That. That's a pencil. God. I must have been going a bit crazy on that day. This one I did in December 2018, and this one was also in December 2018. So they're my folder completed pages. The next four books have videos on my channel at it's because i have completed the entire book and that is world of mice things like go coloring book my animal coloring book and butterfly color by number by Tom and soft flavor but obviously, for the sake of this video, I'll do really, really quick flip throughs of each one of them. So the first one is Butterfly, Colour by Number by Sergeant Soft Stever. And I started it in September 2020. And I think I finished the entire book yeah, in March 2021. So I'll just quickly flip through for you guys. This book's really good for like just putting pen on paper. I think I did a gel pen page in this book because I had the colours because they're very simplistic colours. This is the page with the gel pens that I've done. I'm just going to quickly flip through these because I'm showing all my completed pages for you guys. That was the normal book completed, but I also did the bonus pages. I did these on St. Patrick's Day and I didn't even know. I was just colouring it. And that was Butterfly, Colour by Number by Sergeant Soft Stever. Next one is my animal colouring book. And I started these, I cannot remember, but I, it says here I started this one in December 2019. So. And I completed it in March 2020. But these ones are absolutely adorable for like just sitting down and colouring something for. It is space for kids, but to me it's more simplistic. So aren't we all kids at heart though? I go more slower in the full flip through, so I'm just going to show you guys quickly.
the really adorable animals in this book, to be honest, guys. That was my animal coloring book, and unfortunately, I don't actually know where to buy it. Oh, it's Igl Igly Books. Who these are from? The next one is Things That Go. This was my very first ever completed colouring book, and as you guys can tell, it, 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 it enjoyed itself. I loved this book so much. I started it in July 2019, and I think I finished it in October 2019. I think this one, where is it? I think this one was my last page where I was I never used to do this one in order, I remember. This one. Yeah, I finished in October 2019. So it has portraits and landscape. used war space markers, alcohol markers, just literally everything to be honest guys. Like literally everything. Sharpies, everything. And this is by the same people who done the previous book I just showed you guys. I was so happy when I completed this book. I still am, to be honest, guys. It was so much fun to do. Like, so much fun. this page. Just love the colours that I did. And this one. Can't believe I did this two years ago. I did the entire book two years ago. That was things like go corn book and the same people it igloos books. The next one is Will the Mice Large Print Colour by Number. I did this one all in a month. I buy some life drawing. I love this book so much. Started this in September 2020 and I think I finished it in October 2020. Yeah, finished it literally a month. I started this on the 15th of September 2020 and I finished it on the 15th of October 2020. I love this book so much. One thing I didn't like about this book though, it's portrait landscape, portrait landscape, where now they put them all together. It's very like, spinny. Did this one all in pencils, I remember that. That was really fun. It took a while, but it was really fun to do. Most of them are done without car markers.
Dit is van bijvoorbeeld Space Marcus. Sorry for making you guys dizzy a bit. As you guys can tell, I used to just stick with the same colour palette throughout the entire book. That was all the normal book done and of course I'll do the extra pages in the back. I really enjoyed this one more. The same glass colour by number. And that was World of Mice, large print colour by number. Found some nice ones. Now once the books I have not completed is colour therapy and stress adult colouring book Enchanted Fairies. I'm so close to completing this book but I never have completed this book and I'm just gonna do a quick flip through in it. Did this one in January 19 2019. This is January 2019. This is a single sided paper and the image is on the other side and the white back. This was in January 2019, January 2019, December 2018, January 2019, March 2019, March 2019, March 2019, March 2019, March 2019, January 2019. I tried to do eyeshadow on it, eye, and I just didn't know. <laughs> Never again. Did this one in March 2019. I used loads of glitter gel pen for her dress. Did this one in March 2019. I did this one in March 2019. Did this one in June 2019. I'm done. I haven't done a couple, but it's like single sided. Did this one in. December 2018. I did this one in December 2018. And again, I've done a couple. Like, I don't know how I want to do this one because this one is super detailed, as you guys can see. It's really, really detailed. So I actually don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to come to this book I am. This one I did in January 2018. This one I did in December 2018, did this one in August 2019, I think it would have wicked me as well, did this one in June 2019, did this one in June 2019, yeah it is my work. So that was Colour Therapy, Anti-Stress, Adult Colouring Book, Enchanted Fairies. Next book I've not coloured out of and it's called Beautiful Animals and I got this out of B&M in the UK for only two fifty. And this book is double sided but all the animals are very zen doodly and the line art varies from thin to thick and I absolutely love that. It's a lovely thick book as well. I just not started it yet. That was beautiful animals. The next one is floral colouring, and again I got this in B and M, and I did not have an artist unfortunately. And again it has varies of flowers, 
and the line art goes from thin to thick in some pictures which I like but it is double sided so you can't use your alcohol markers in it but the paper is quite high nice quality so maybe you won't need them just be very careful because it is on the cheaper side That was floral colouring. The next one is Fantasy. This book's just falling apart, to be honest, guys. It really is. It's just falling apart. But again, it has like all different like fantasy pictures. It's just really cool to the colouring, to be honest, guys. It's one of my favourite books, to be honest. The line art is really nice in it. All the pictures are absolutely lovely in this book. That was a fancy colouring book. This one I just call Nature. Again, I got this in BM, I have not coloured in it yet. It has loads of like flowers and nature stuff. Oh my god, he's cute. And the line art goes from like thin to like thicker line art. And it goes from really detailed pictures to really simplistic pictures. Which I love. That was as I called nature. next one is animals again i've not colored in this book either and this is a very zen doodly animal book but as you guys know if you've been following me for the longest time you know i absolutely love my animals so i've got quite a few animal books and i don't mind them being zen doodle either because i know you don't have to color them all different things in different sections you can just call them one colour and I just love this book it's double sided as well so I'll come up with one more go on there this shelf that I've got and I'm showing you guys is more of my simplistic relaxed mindless type of colouring books so you might see kid colouring books in here as well but as I said, we're all kids of heart and I call them the simplistic books. This one is Healy Hoa, designed for fun and relaxation. And again, this is a dull sided book, but this paper is really, really, I want to be honest, crap, guys. It's absolutely crap. But it's good for like just putting paper and colour and a pen, like testing your medium or like your colour combinations or stuff like that. That's why I kind of use this for now. I don't really use it for colouring in, but there's some beautiful pictures in it. It's just the paper's really bad. Like this picture here is beautiful, but it's crap. The paper. I did this one in November 2019. And I've got this one as well. Which I did in 2018 in October so yeah oh and I did this one in 2021 in March I didn't even know I did that one so yeah but as you guys can see it's just but I can I I like it, but not the best paper. But it's good for something that you just want to colour in. And a lot of patterns in that book. This one was my very first ever colouring book to get me back into colouring. And it's called Stress Colouring Book. Far from stressful to be honest, guys. Did these two in 2018. 
because that's when I started colouring again. And again, it's double sided and the paper is the same as that healing colour one. It's quite like crap paper to be honest. This one I did in 2018. You're seeing some of my older works now guys. This one's a work in progress. I have so many whips guys, it's actually shocking. This is another whip. I did this one in 2018. Did this one in 2018. This is probably one of my favourites I used to do. But I say to this day, she is still my favourite. I love her eye colour I did. And I did this one in 2018. I did this one also in 2018. I remember me and my friend it was like, because I got two of these books, but they were exactly the same. So I gave them to them. And me and them were like, we're going to complete this book three years down the line. Neither one of us have. <laughs> this one I did in 2018. These two I did in 2018. As you guys can see, I used to like, put a blossom page between each page and just print it off into the other side. This one's a whip. This one I did in 2018. And I also did this one in 2018. So I just put that in the whip pile. This one is my fun colouring book. This is more kid based but it's not at the same time because as I keep on saying anyone can colour in anything because you don't have to be a child to colour in this because you might enjoy colouring simplistic pages like myself. I like doing it. This one I did in January 2020. As you guys can see, it's double sided and the images are so cute. Like, beyond cute. I did this one in April 2019. I did this one in May 2019. Oh, it's a but as you guys can see, it's double sided and the images are absolutely adorable. The paper's quite thin, but it's so much fun to colour in these books. It has over 304 pages in each book. And I say each book because I also got the boy version. I bracket that because anyone can colour in anything. Just because I was a spaceman doesn't mean it, it can just be for boys, it can be for anyone. This one was done in October 2020. And again, these are double sided, just like the pink one. This is April 2021. I used gel pen, but it did bleed through to the other side so that's how like thin the paper is guys even gel pen goes through but I don't mind because I don't like goats anyway so they look cute but I, I don't I don't really care <laughs> this one I did in 2019 and this is in November this one I did in April 2019 and again, this is just like a really simplistic, easy book to colour in. If you just want to just put colour on a paper but you don't want the stress, just put this book out. That's what I do. The next two books are called the exact same thing. My giant colouring book. I haven't coloured in anything in here. Oh, I do have a whip I think 
No, I did call out here one page out here. And this was done in April this year, 2021. But as you guys can see, it's really, really like a newspaper looking type of paper. But the images are super cute. Oh, I did this one in 2019 in November. Didn't even know. And now we're going to have a little look at the jungle one. I've done a bit more in here. I did this one in January 2020. I did these two. I did this one in March 2020. And I did this one in January 2020. I did this one in March 2020. And I did this one in November 2020. I have a whip going on in this book. I did this one in May 2019, but again, this book is just cute. It's like on a newspaper paper, but it's really like fun to colour in when you just want to pour a bit of colour on a page. It really is adorable. I did this one in January 2020 as well. I knew I had one more in here. But I can't find it, so I forgot. That, them two were my plain colouring books. These two are the same as the other two, like the same name, but they have different images in them, and that's bumper Christmas colouring. And I haven't hold anything in this one. But like the pictures are adorable, nice thick liner, and the paper's lovely in this book. But it is double sided, so you can't use your alcohol markers. But I'm thinking you possibly could use your water based markers in this book. Just be mindful in case it actually does bleed through to the other side. And I can't remember where I got this from. I think it was from being. Um, or the works, one of them. This book is the same as the other one, but I've done pictures in this one. Did this one in December 2019. Did these two in December 2019. I did these two in December 2019. Did these two in December 2019 did these two in December 2019 and I did this one in March 2021 and again the pictures are absolutely cute in here and these books are perforated so if you like the picture but you don't want to do the other side and you just use alcohol markers on it you just rip it off put it in a frame and it'll be so cute for like your children or even yourself if you want to be like cute I did this one in November 2019 But yeah, the line art's really cute in this book, and the whole book is absolutely adorable. The next one is Playtime Colour Room 4. This is based for kids, but this, again, is just adorable book. Like, you can't miss out. And this is by... I want to say I read. I want to say them. I'm not too sure. But I did this one in May 2019. This is a work in progress. I completely even forgot I had this. And it's the front cover. The paper in this book is beautiful. It's not too thin. The line art's absolutely amazing. I've got another work in progress. I've got so many work in progress, guys. I'll definitely complete them all next one. Definitely. I think I've got like 30 of them. I didn't even know. But yeah, that was a playtime, colour room, colour and fun. This one is Colour with Frosty. And this is by the same people who did the previous one. And I did this one in November 2019. 
and I did this one in December 2019 and I also did this one in January 2019 and again it's double sided and the line art's absolutely adorable I absolutely love this book I just don't show her enough love that was colour with frosty next one is superheroes and villains a super colour and book I have so many whips in here guys I really do the line art is quite thin in this book it's quite detailed and it is double sided so your alcohol markers will be a no go but I have this one as a work in progress I did this one in October 2018 I have this one as a work in progress I'm definitely going to finish some of these off definitely and I got this one as a work in progress which I haven't got that much to do left on him but this paper is beautiful it's just so detailed I can't really put my head on it and that was by Alligator Books and that was Superheroes and Villains the next few books are like my go-to books when I'm like stressed or when I just want to colour into something simplistic I just go into these books here so the first one is my dinosaur colouring book this is for kids really but it's adorable that you can't miss up because look at it the line art's quite thin in this one and this one is quite detailed compared to the others so i don't know what child's colouring this in but in my opinion this is far too detailed to be a kid's colouring book this is more like a simplistic adult colouring book in my eyes and i did this one back in march 2021 this was a whip for like four years. <laughs> nah, this is about a whip for like about a year. And these these dinosaurs are cute, but that's it's a very detailed book. Sorry guys, I'm just starting my hand. Oh, uh, the piles are gonna fall over. This one is Fabulous and Sparkling Colouring Book. And I did this one in January 2020. I did this one in March 2020. I did this one in February 2021. I did this one in January 2020. As you guys can sell, it's a single sided book, so your alcohol marks will be perfect. Literally, all these books I'm going to show you now all single sided books the line art's really really like, nice and it? it's not too thick but it's not too thin it's really really nice next one is my pirate colouring book and I did this one and I did him in October 2020 I did this one in April 2020 I did this one in January 2020 and this was the very first one I did in this book but as you guys can tell this one's more detailed than the other one I've just showed you so they do vary into like difficulties so I still classify this simplistic adult colouring book this one is my knights and dragons colouring book did this one in November 2020 and again this one this line art very thin but it's very detailed very 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 detailed but it's really cute and that was my Knights and Dragons colouring book this one is my fairy colouring book Oh my fairy my mermaid sorry guys i've got fairies on the mind um and this was the very first book of this series that i actually like collected and i did this one in december 2019 
as you guys can tell the line art in this book is thin but it's like really cute and adorable it's like simple but it's like detailed simple if that makes sense i did this one in may 2019 the one picture i don't understand in this whole book that really like confuses me the very last one like like why is that appropriate for a child's book just it's a bit weird i'm not gonna lie it's a bit weird, in my opinion, but, you know, for a child's book. <laughs> we're just, we're like, we're like normal. Anyway, my Monsters is an Aliens colouring book. This is all by Igloo Books, every single one I've just showed you. And this one is, again, a more detailed book more detailed thinner line art that is hilarious <laughs> i'm such a child i thought as you guys can tell i think i have a whip in here as well yes i do these little cute little aliens i have so many whips guys i really really do it's shocking This one is called Cool Animals Colouring Book and I'm just working through this one. This one I did in January 2020. This one I did in, I want to say, oh that's June 2020. This one I did in November 2020. I did this one in December 2020. I did this one in January 2020. I did this one in March. Uh, February 2020, did this one in February 2020, and did this one in March 2020, and I think that's how much I've done. Yeah, this line art's really cute in this book, and again, it's single sided, so you can use alcohol markers, which I have been doing, and it's just adorable. I can't wait to colour in this one next. The next one is my pretty colouring book. And I did this one, and again, I've been working through this book, guys. Did this one. This one I did in April, and this one I did in April 2021. Did this one in January 2020. Did this one in April 2021. Did this one in April 2021. Did this one in March 2021. I did this one in March 2021. I did this one in March 2021. I did this one in March 2021. And I did this one in what, May 2020. I did this one in July 2020. And I did this one in January 2020. So as you guys can tell, it's a very, very easy book. It's a very easy, easy book. But it's just cute when you just want to colour in something it's so easy. You just want to colour it in. That's what I love about these. The next two are LOL doll ones. Again, I only get these because I like to colour in simplistic books. And we're all child to heart. I did this one in January 2019 and I did this one in February 2020. I only do this when I'm like, just want to colour in something really easy. And they are adorable little characters. So that one was a little rebel colouring book and this one is hashtag colouring And I ended two in here i did this one of crystal queen and i did this one of rocker and again i just use this book to like just color in simplistic images that was hashtag this one is color therapy anti-stress adult coloring book amazing animals and I did a few in here. 
I did this one in February 2019. I did this one in April 2019. I did this one in August 2019. I did this one in September 2020. I did this one in June 2020. And again, it's just single sided with all cute animals. And that was Colour Therapy Anti Stress Adult Colouring Book on Raising Animals. This one is Colour Therapy Anti Stress Adult Colouring Ocean Dreams. And again, it's single sided, and this one's very detailed like, very, very detailed. So I don't really bring this book out as much. But I did this one in December 2019. But yeah, this book's like really detailed for me. So I don't really bring that one out as much. But this one is called Cold Therapy Anti-Stress Other Colour and Book Enchanted World. And I did this one in February 2019. And this one took me literally a week to do because I used nothing but pencils on this and a little bit of gel pen. And I really, really enjoyed it. It's one of my favourite pieces I've ever done. And I also have a whip in here. Another one. <laughs> and that was Colour Therapy Anti Stress Enchanted Worlds. Again, this is really detailed, this book, so I don't really bring it out as much. The next two are Art Therapy Colouring Books. We've got Art Therapy Enchanted Forest and Art Therapy Colouring Book. So this one, I've only done one in, and that was this cute little fairy. And I did here in July 2020. And these are single sided, so your alcohol markers are perfect for it. And I haven't even got a whip or anything in here, so I haven't brought that book out in a while. I don't know why I talk curled up to be honest, guys. It's driving me insane. <laughs> and the last one for this video, guys, is our therapy colouring book and i've done a few in here this is my current whip in here and this book is just patterns and just that's really crappy paper but it's patterns and if you like your patterns you like this book but i got that whip going but the rest i've completed so i've done this one in july 2019 I did this one in September 2020. As you guys can tell, it is single sided, so your alcohol markers do work perfectly on it. This one I did in January 2019, and I remember using um, gel pen for the background. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I did this one in January 2019. And the last one for this video, I did this one in June 2019. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and follow my Facebook group page, all in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.